from New York City, Comedy Central presents Stella. Wow. Thank you. To my right, over here, Michael Showalter. Thank you. To my left, Michael Ian Black. Thank you very much. And of course, to my right, Michael Showalter. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, we are going to have a really and fun... I'm David Wayne. Thank you. You guys, we are going to have a really fun time here tonight. Yeah. We are going to teach you a cheer. We're going to do cool things. And let's start the evening with some audience participation. What I need from somebody is the name of a celebrity. The first name I heard was Liza Minnelli. You are sick. You're sick. Sick. No, but seriously, you are sick. I can, I can see that your glands are swollen. You should see a doctor. No, no, no. She doesn't need a doctor. All you need is bed rest and lots of liquids and butt sex. Hey, you guys, later in the show, we are going to use the name Liza Minnelli in a way that is literally going to blow your mind. Here's something we like to do. This is a little bit of a get to know you exercise. Just a way for us to have some intimacy in the room. Everybody turn to the person next to you and introduce yourself. Say, hello, my name is so and so, unless that's not your name. <laughs> and then pay them a compliment. Say something nice like, I like your sweater. And then turn to them and say, I want you inside me. <laughs> you have to understand, folks, it's not a sexual thing. No. If it leads to sex, great. And if it leads to wedding bells, you better invite us. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll go anywhere for peel and eat shrimp. <laughs> oh, oh, God. God. You guys, the three of us have been friends for a long time. Yeah. And we do a lot of things together. We spend a lot of time together. Our menstrual cycles are in sync now. Mm -hmm. In fact, this year, we're going to spend Thanksgiving dinner together. And I just want to say that I am so excited to be spending this Thanksgiving with two of my best friends, David and Michael. And I am so excited to be spending Thanksgiving dinner with one of my best friends. I'll tell you what I'm excited about. Having Thanksgiving dinner and getting me one of them drumsticks. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. What's the matter? No, David, it's just so presumptuous of you to assume that you would have a drumstick when you know how much I like drumsticks. I didn't know you liked drumsticks. Oh, you are lying through your teeth, David. <laughs> we had a long conversation just the other day about my love for the stick. Well, fine, Michael, there's two drumsticks on the turkey. Okay, we can so each have... Okay, so I don't get a drumstick, David? Well, I don't you never get a drumstick. said stick. anything about wanting well, a drumstick. Well, I didn't know that I had to write my name in blood on the turkey to get a drumstick, David. <laughs> Forget it. I take it back. You can't take it back, David. It's out there now. It's floating in the ether. It is floating in the ether like a turd. You guys, there are other parts of a turkey. Oh, really, David? Name one. I defy you to name one other part of the turkey. The wing? The wing. That is so obvious. What about the wing? Wing is good. Wing's Wait a, a good second. One. How come he said it's good when I say it's obvious? Because there's two wings on a turkey, David. And your wing was obvious. And Michael's wing was fascinating. No, you know what? Really, really. You guys each take a drumstick. I won't have one. No, David, you have to have one. Or else the whole world will come crashing down on your head. So you know what? I won't have one. I'll starve myself to death like Karen Carpenter. You know what, you guys? Look, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Whoever wants a drumstick, raise your hand. Okay. I want a drumstick. I want a drum drum you are unbelievable. What? You are not going to let this go, are I'm you? I'm not going to lie. I want a drumstick. David, I don't even know you anymore. I think David's right. He deserves a drumstick as much as you or I. And I have a compromise that I think will make everybody happy. I'm going to ask who wants a drumstick again. And when I do, 
David, just for the sake of argument, don't raise your hand, okay? No, but I do want a drumstick. No, stick. I know, and I want you to have one. I'm just saying for the sake of argument, don't raise yeah, your hand. Yeah, it's for the sake of argument. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who wants a drumstick? I want a drumstick. I want a drumstick. Great, so you and I awesome. will have drumsticks. Can I, you guys, but I wanted to have a drumstick. Hey, you know what, David? Michael and I feel really good about this decision, and we really need you to be happy for us right now. Can you just be happy for us, David? We really need your support, okay, buddy? Sure, fine, whatever. Way to go, Dave. You did it, David. You did it. <laughs> good job. Hey, do you guys want to hear the official Stella cheer? I can't hear you! No, no, you guys, he can't hear you. He has an inner ear disorder. I can't hear you. I'm really scared right now. Wait, Michael, I can fix you. I'm fixed! Oh, thank God. That's great. Keep going. All right, you guys, here's the official Stella cheer, and you'll know when to join in. It goes like this. Stand up and cheer for Stella. Stand up and cheer today. Cheer, cheer, cheer for Stella. Stand up and cheer today. When I say Stella, you say cheer. Stella. Cheer. Stella. Cheer. When I say party, you say beer. Party. Beer. Party. Beer. When I say bagel, you say schmear. Bagel. Schmear. Bagel. Schmear. When I say uncooked, you say rear. Uncooked. Rear. Uncooked. Rear. When I say king, wait, you wait, say wait, leer. Wait, 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 wait. King. Wait, Mike, stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Wait, you guys, you guys, stop, 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 stop. I want to go back to what you said. What? Oh, what? When I say uncooked, when I say you, uncooked say you say... You say rear, uncooked. Rear. Uncooked. Rear. When I say pantyhose, you say sheer. Wait, stop, pantyhose. stop, stop, pantyhose. stop, pantyhose. stop, stop. Hey, add rock, add rock. Stop. It should be rare. No, when rear. I, no. Rare. When I say uncooked, you say rare. Oh, well, the New England pronunciation would be you'd have a steak that's cooked rear. They would say that in New England. That's the New England pronunciation? Yes, it is. Yeah, I don't think that's true, David. <laughs> yeah, here, I can demonstrate. We'll do like a little role play and you'll see what I mean. Mike, I want you to play the part of a guy from Massachusetts, okay, who's going to go into a restaurant and order a steak rare, but in the New England accent. Okay. Okay, do you get yeah. it? Okay, and Mike, you play the part of the waiter taking his order. Okay. Is, is that a good part? Yeah, it's a good part. So now. No, what? it's just because, and I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be difficult about this or anything, but I just feel like if that's the better part. What? I, no, what? I'm I just. I should probably do it. Just why? I don't. Because I'm on Ed. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. It you seems know what, like though? This will be good for you. Thank you. I want oh, you to, I you. Want you right. to do it. Are Thanks, we settled? Mike. Yeah. Okay. So now, if we could just change the lights to make it look like a nice New England restaurant. And this will be the chair. You'll come and sit down. And I take you now to a New England restaurant. <laughs> oh. Good evening, sir. Welcome to the New England restaurant. Yes, well, it's as good as place as any. There's uh, quite a storm brewing outside. The nor'easter, don't you know? Yes. Uh, well, here is our menu. Thank you. Do you know what you'd like? Yes. I'll have the chicken cutlet. Mm -hmm. Hold, hold. Wait, the stop, lemon stop. Hold on a second. Marinade. Wait, wait, wait. But, 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 but. You need to order a steak. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no, the steak's the farthest thing from my mind. <laughs> no, you understand? The whole reason we set up this whole scene is so you can order the steak so we can hear you say the word rear. Oh, uh... This is gonna be awkward. See, David, my character doesn't eat red meat. Oh, come on, my no, God! No, David, no. You asked me to come up with a character from New England, and that's exactly what I did. His name is Richard. He's from Framingham. Well, Richard can order a steak. No, he can't, David, because he's vegan. We just ordered a chicken cutlet. Yeah, because he's flawed. <laughs> All 
I mean, David, that's, that's what attracted me to the character in the first place, his contradiction. You know what, Michael, you're fired. You are fired. No, I quit. <laughs> Whatever. I can do this. It's very simple. Okay, I'll be the customer. You're the waiter. Take my order. Ask me what I want. Oh, David, you're not in my section. Oh, come on, Michael! No, we split tips here, David. Would you please, please just do this? Fine, fine. Okay. What would you like to eat? Oh, I'll have a steak. Now ask me how I want it cooked. How would you like it cooked? I'll have it cooked rare. Do you see? Do you see now? David, you sound like a gay Australian frog. <laughs> fine, whatever. Why don't we just finish the cheer? Fine, I would like to do okay. that. Okay. When I say John, you say deer. John. Deer. John. Deer. Lawnmowers. Hey, do you guys want to hear my idea of a perfect summer day? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. My idea of a perfect summer day is... It's 75 degrees. Celsius. Mm. <laughs> I'm wearing my favorite linen culottes. My blouse is unbuttoned like to my navel. <laughs> and I just spend the day swinging in my hammock, getting totally douched by the sprinkler. <laughs> Michael, that is a perfect summer day. Almost. Well, set me straight, girlfriend. My idea of the perfect summer day is... I'm sitting in my garden, and it's filled with lily pads. Like that Claude Monet painting called Lily Pads. And I'm sipping a tall, cool glass of Martini and Rossi Aspi Spumanti Lemon Spritzer and I'm listening to the most recent Starbucks chill out mellow mix CD sampler and I am like totally boning my dad. That is the perfect summer day. But not quite. Oh. My idea of a perfect summer day is First, I watched my Sex and the City DVD, second season before Carrie got totally annoyed. I know, right? I know! I know! And then I just spend the whole afternoon lounging in the pool, farting. <laughs> the bubbles rising, rising and exploding with the aroma of the fish and meat buffet I gorged on an hour before. And then, a little teeny weeny piece of poo <laughs> comes out my butt. That, that really is the perfect summer day. I was just thinking, do you guys know that song, When Irish Eyes Are Smiling? Oh, it's such a beautiful song, it's so evocative. I know, I love the Ewoks, they're so cute. <laughs> There's just something about that phrase, Irish eyes. Hmm. I wonder what they mean. I think it means alcohol-inflamed, bloodshot eyes. <laughs> don't, you think, don't you think it's also the great tradition of Irish writers? Uh, James Joyce, uh, Seamus Haney, Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> hey, do either of you guys know any Irish limericks? I, I don't. I do. Oh. It goes like this. There once was a man from Nantucket whose rod was so long that he could get ball deep up in that. And then he'd be like in it and she'd be like, oh baby, that's my spot, that's my spot. Keep going, no, don't stop baby, that's my spot. Careful, I'm ovulating. And he's like, no, it's okay, I use the rhythm method. And then he shot his junk. Mm. That's great. I particularly like the part about when he shot his junk. Yeah, I actually said it wrong. It's supposed to go, and then he shot his junk. You see? For the meter. Uh, oh, for yes. the meter. Yes. 
What about that great Irish food on St. Paddy's Day? Like, I would love to get me some corned beef and cabbage. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I'm going to get me some Irish soda bread and fish tacos. <laughs> yum, yum, yummy, yum. I, I'm going to get me corned beef and cabbage <laughs> and Irish soda bread and fish tacos. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Mike, if you ate all that food, you'd get a tummy ache. Eh? F*** you, David. Michael, I really just think you are overreacting no! here. No! All I said was you're going to get a tummy ache. I am not going to get... I hate both of you! I hate both of you! I actually have something kind of serious I want to say, which oh. is that... Uh, this has just been a wonderful experience doing this with you guys, and now that it's over, I'm really genuinely going to miss you two. <laughs> wow, God, I, I didn't expect things to get so real, well. but um, <laughs> the truth of the matter is I'm going to miss you guys too. How about you, Mike? I'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Michael, you never express your true feelings about anything. Oh, okay. Um... Gosh, I feel like you should shut the hell up. How's that, David? Michael! What? David is just trying to help. Well, he can help me by getting off my case and stop acting like my psychiatrist, Dr. Morton Greenfeld. <laughs> All right, Michael, what does your psychiatrist say? He says that I'm afraid that if I do open up and say how I feel, I'll get hurt. Hey, Michael, that was a very brave thing to admit. Yeah, and I feel like this theater filled with people would be a really safe environment. <laughs> for you to share how you feel. Come on, Michael, tell us how you feel. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I feel really sad. <laughs> Michael! What? <laughs> okay, I made a fart noise into the microphone, and that was inappropriate, and I apologize. <laughs> Keep going. He's, Mike, he's not gonna do it again. He's gonna do it again. I won't do it again, you Michael. You swear to God? Yes, I swear to God. <laughs> Come on. Tell us how you feel. All right. Um, it's like I was saying, I feel really sad. <laughs> Michael! What? You swear to God! I swear to God. He's the God of opposites. <laughs> you are really starting to hurt my feelings right no, now. Nobody cares about your feelings, you Michael. Ask me how I feel! Yes, yeah, so that I can make a fart noise into the microphone. <laughs> Are you really that stupid? I mean, what in the name of Liza, Liza Minnelli, Minnelli is the matter with you? Look at them. Look at them standing over there, pretending to be frozen. How can I possibly tell them how I really feel? How can I tell Michael that I'm gonna miss all the fun we have? All the jokes, the banter, the tete-a-tete. -tete. How can I look him in the eye and tell him that when I'm not gonna miss David at all? Because I find David to be an untalented, like, bloated, you bastard. I guess I can't. I guess I can't. Answer his question, Answer Michael. My Do you question. really think he's that Wait stupid? No, no, no. I'm arguing with you. Anger, 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 anger directed at you. Anger directed at you. Stop! <laughs> Don't you see? This is just what they want us to do. Who's they? The Taliban. <laughs> when we fight, they win. They won here tonight. <laughs> I want us to be friends again. Me too. I do too. Group hug? Group hug. Yeah. Yeah. 